Alright, so something probably looks different from the last video that was uploaded here on the channel. If it's not already obvious, this is not the same character. <laughs> also, if you notice on the top left, I'm also in the champions levels of 580. So, this has a somewhat of a funny story to it. Funny, not for me, but just in general, right? So, I... I have said this before, I play this game off the channel, but I don't focus on the story, I just play uh, for the gameplay. It's it's a really fun and enjoyable game for me, and I love it wholeheartedly. But there was a character that I didn't like. Uh, well, I wanted to redo from the start, right? It wasn't that far along in the leveling system or anything, so I just decided to say, you know, what the hell, and delete the character. But... I kind of didn't delete that character that I wanted to delete at the time, and I ended up deleting my YouTube character. So, I was left in a very weird position where I kind of had to either A, do, uh, create a brand new character, call him the same thing, go through the entire thing that I've done before, up until where I was uh, here in this game, or make a new character from scratch. And I took that as an opportunity, and... Uh, changed up a lot of things so it's not the same thing as it was before i am playing now as a dark elf instead of an imperial and i'm playing as a templar instead of a dragon knight the reason why i decided to do that is because i kind of want to do a hybrid build and by i kind of want to i mean i already did if, it, if you can see right here uh i have 32 stamina 32 magicka and of course uh dark elves have uh, their passives if you look right here in their racial they have increased magicka and stamina by 19 10 points so it's a it's a really good set in terms of skills i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of hover through it obviously in the front bar i'm i have a two-handed sword or great axe i should say and then in the back i have a uh a bow right and if it's not already obvious by here, I'm going, I went with the New Moon Acolyte and then the Twice Born Star. And as far as the Mundestones, because with the Twice Born Star, you can have two Mundestones, right? I went with the Thief and the Lover, because those are kind of sort of the go-to for hybrid builds. Uh, it's not an overpowered build, but I don't plan on doing, um, I guess you could say like end game content with this. I just want to focus on the story and I figured a hybrid build would be ideal for this. So uh, there's that. This character though is has been really fun to play and hopefully you'll see uh, that being portrayed in the game going forward, obviously. And of course I'm wearing the uh, guild tabard, which another thing that changed if you want to know, it is now called the Tamriel Armistice. I'm thinking about putting a the ahead of it though. Uh, so I might change the name one more time. So if you don't see Tamriel Armistice, if you guys want to look it up, uh, try looking for the Tamriel Armistice. This is the guild tabard anyway, so it should be pretty easy to find. We're still a tiny little guild. We only have 10 members, uh, maybe about a quarter of which are very active in the game. So there's that. So those are the big changes in this game as far as the the character goes on the channel and the guild. Uh, hopefully you guys can understand uh, why that had to happen. It was kind of an, an oopsie on my end that I kind of sort of rectified. So I do have a train now. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, yes. So I'm already at five. So, where we last left off, we were actually going to talk to the hooded figure, which popped up right here. But of course, since I left, she's no longer here. So, she's right up ahead. It looks like somewhere around here. Oh, there she is. Mrs. Hooded Figure, stop feeding the animals. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. So, what does your benefactor want? If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. It's a good point. Um, alright. Fine. My benefactor awaits nearby. Do not tarry. Well then, I guess I'll go now. 
Uh, so the house is right here, apparently. Let's see what this benefactor wants. Pathiary house? I don't even know what that means. Mr. Benefactor! Hold on, wait, there's a bookshelf right here. Uh, what the... Oh! That was rude. That's, that's not, well, that's definitely not me. I'm the guy behind, okay. Forgot, because I'm a dark elf. Oh, that's Man and Marco. It is Man and Marco. Wow, dude, that armor looks sick. Well, that was interesting. There goes Molag is bald. Find a way to escape Cold Harbor. Don't mind if I do. Hello? Whoa there. Are you all right? I just got stabbed. No big deal. I have plenty of fight. Where am I? Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. Lyris Titanborn. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. Don't mind if I do. It's full of surprises. Get out of here! Well, I definitely didn't mean that. That was my execute, by the way. And I guess I. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. So I basically just went through the leveling system. I'm not an expert at this character yet. So you're going to see me going through a learning curve with this. Because this is my first character with a dual, uh, with a, with a, uh, a greatsword. I usually go like bow or dual wielding or even staffs. Ah! Uh. All right then. Get out of here, my friend. Greetings, Vestal. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Guess we're all rescuing each other. We need to talk. She is huge, by the way. She, <laughs> she is enormous. Look, check this out. Hold on. Let me go ahead and put my weapon away. I look tiny. I look like a baby compared to her. All right, what's up, Laris? The prophet. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Help you with what? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Okay. So where do we go from here then? These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. The Towers of Eyes. So is that like... Uh, Zaron and his brother? Uh, what are these Sentinels? I already know, it's Zaron. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide... Zaron. ...in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. She has really pretty eyes, but well, oh, uh, look, she's all sad now. <laughs> How can we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. Yeah, well, I mean, I have so many questions before we go. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. So, first things first, who is this prophet individual? He's a strange one. Man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. So where am I? What is this place? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think Calm down, the Dorothy. Miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. 
figured as much when I when the guy in front of me got stabbed. And now I'm in this place. I mean, I kind of figured that I was dead, right? Uh, how are we having this conversation if we're dead? I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. But, but, I don't get it. Who killed me if I'm dead? A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Baal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. So what does that mean? It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor. Yes! The lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Wait, are you dead too? No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. It but doesn't. prisoners here, same as you. I mean, I, I, I get it. But conventionally, how do you conventionally go to hell, basically? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm overthinking this. Uh, how can we rescue the Prophet, then? It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Yeah, alright. Well, let's go. We should keep moving. Yep. Let's handle some business. Uh. Ah. Uh, nice. Well played, friend. Our Thank you. Beard, you are good in a fight. I appreciate that, actually. The god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry. That was the that, that was a prophet. I'm assuming that came over the. I was about to say the radio. I don't even know what he's communicating. Telepathically, I suppose? I don't know. Let's go! Oh! He didn't just stand a chance. No. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed this character, by the way. Alright, let's kill this dude. Haha! -ha! Nice. Alright. Let's get rid of this little guy real quick. That execute is pretty powerful, by the way. You! Nice. I'm pretty sure I pushed a different button, but okay, I guess not. First of all, first of all, don't tell me what to do, Lyris. All right. Yeah, it is Zaron. Come here, Zaron. They could not have made it more obvious when they were talking about the Towers of Eyes. Then you go to the top of the tower, and it's an actual eye like Sauron. I have a- I like Lord of the Rings a lot, by the way. I have a character named, uh, Gandalf, the Radiant Blue. And then I have a char uh, another character named, uh, uh, what's his name, uh... Oh my god, I can't remember his name, I'm having a- like a- Like a moment that I can- oh god. Fool. You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's wagging tooth. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Uh, we'll find a way. By the way, his name was Legolas, by the way. Legolas Bluestone is his name. He's pretty cool character. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. So, who is this Cadwell you speak of? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Okay, how can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home, and he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. 
Okay, I'm down. Okay. So Cadwell is an absolute maniac and it's hilarious. Hi. Lovely day for it. So you must be Mr. Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes. Indeed. Oh, I apologize. And fair Lyris. Good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Guy is so crazy, but I love him so much. Oh, we're trying to get inside the Prophet's cell. A door is sealed. Or, the door is sealed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. So then how do we get through uh, all of it, then? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. There like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Or we could just kill everyone. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Yeah, no problems, man. Thanks. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Yeah, of course, but tell me a little bit about yourself, Sir Cadwell. Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Yeah, yeah, of course. Make the best without your head, I suppose. Uh, how long have you been here? Quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go fear all that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. How do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer gorus jammies. <laughs> I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. Wait, so... The Prophet's blind? How, what do you know about this Prophet? An Imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. Uh, you don't think there's a way to get home? I haven't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Okay, so... Uh, a little spoiler, I know that he goes into the uh, regular world, I guess you could say. But... Well, that was weird. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of weird because he's dead too. Does that mean we save him too? Maybe, I don't know. Alright, thank you, Mr. Cadwell. Cadwell seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. Better Perhaps. Yeah, so something I did forget to mention though. The reason why I wanted to level up this character all the way is because the main story is level gated. It's one of the most annoying things about this game. One of the only annoying things, to be frank, uh, is the fact that it's level gated, right? Uh, you can't progress until, like, every five levels you get a new mission. It's very similar with the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. Luckily, though, I ended up doing those missions elsewhere, and now I can purchase them through uh, the skill line or whatever, through the... Uh, through the crown store so I do plan on doing that otherwise it's gonna take forever to complete the Dark Brotherhood and the uh, Thieves Guild but of course as far as this character goes uh, I leveled him up to level 50 and now he's got the CP level so I could just do one after another the main storyline so we can start getting to uh, the DLC content a little bit faster should be should be fun no worries Lyris I'm a master at this Uh oh. There we go. I'm not really a master at it. But alright.
The game is a little laggy today. Not sure why that is. I keep pressing that rug. I need to rebind or replace. Like switch my skills around in different keys because I don't like it there. This way? I I'm just following this level 7. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's super laggy. So there was a brand new patch recently. And, uh, it was funny though because they took it, they took down the servers, right, for maintenance. They came back up and literally like 30 minutes later, they went down for maintenance again. So I think there was something in this latest patch that's a little, that went a little weird or wonky that they're trying to fix or something because... I did notice that with the Waking Flame DLC, the game was, uh, performance-wise, wasn't operating optimally. Hey, there's the Prophet! Can I go over there? Good news is, we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm on it. What do you mean you're not coming with me? There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. There's no other way? Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. I, I like that how there's no way to convince her otherwise. Like, hey, no, you can't do it. I guess you're dead. <laughs> I'm ready when you are then. Once it's done, get moving. The prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Will do. I like this. I still need to work on the dies for this character. But I like the the outfit. Oh god. You away with you. Can I turn this off? No? Alright. I thought it was like one of those anchors things. Nice try there, buddy. Can I close them now? Dark Pinion. Hang in there, Lyris. Dude, that looks so cool. That was so cool. The divines, you are safe. There is that at least. There is sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Can we find a way to take her with us? I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together. Vestige. Vestige? What's that? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one. An empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. So, so I'm not alive going forward in this game, or maybe not alive in the traditional way. I'm a soulless person. That's interesting. Why does Lyrus call you the Prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. What anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Yeah, I mean, you're blind, so of course. All right, stay close to me then. Up the stairs, quickly. I'm coming. To the anchor mooring. You know, for a blind guy, he sure follows me very well. Don't worry, Mr. Prophet Man. We'll handle this business with the anchors, no problem. Yeah, all I did with this character is, uh, I did all of the previous things that I've done before. And, uh, I went to the Alakir Desert and just doled and grind the entire time until I made level 50. 
Oh, snap! It's Molag's bald! Do I have to fight something? Oh, snap! I will protect you. You'll protect me? I think I'm... I think I'm gonna take care of this, no problem. A moment. The Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A Sky Shard? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Okay, I'm ready. Where are you gonna summon it at? Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. Hiya! Quickly, collect the sky shard. Nice. I mean, I already know about the sky shards. It was in the tutorial. Akatosh, dragon god of time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Val be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Let's go then! Whoa! I'm flying! My wings are coming in handy! I guess I went back to Stros Makai, apparently. Why why Stros Makai though? That's whoa, what <laughs> Alright the then. Awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. Yeah, what's up, man? As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city of industry where men speak of intrigues and plots beneath layers of innuendo and pleasantry. It matters not. You have awakened once again. We must set you on your path. How long was I unconscious for? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. That's a... Uh... It's rather lucky, to be honest. Imagine if I wasn't found. If I appeared in the sea, I could have drowned easily. So what should I do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. Well, that's good. That we're not- we're, we're gonna do what we can to not abandon her. When will I see you again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet, but we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Okay, good. So the good thing is, uh... I wonder what's in here. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Ball looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Yeah, where should I go? I've already asked this, but okay, let's ask again. You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Oh, you know what? The people that originally helped me with the with the heist are the people. At least I'm assuming this. It kind of makes sense, but to me at least. But the people that dug me out of the water, are the same people that I helped with the heist. That's interesting. That's that's cool. Uh, do you think there are many who need my help? sense that even now there are good people near you who face grave danger they need your assistance should you be willing to give it 
To thwart the will of Molag Val, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. And there, there are others who would be willing to join me in all of this? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. Sounds like a plan, then. See you later, sir. Mr. Prophet Man. Oh, really quick. So... I wanted to say this about the guild tabard. I looked through all the logos and stuff like that. This one made the most sense because this is basically a guild where people can come together from any faction, right? So the Aldermary Dominion, the Daggerfall Covenant, or the Eberhard Pact. And I, I designed this tabard with that in mind all at once, right? We have the red for the Eberhard Pact, the blue for the Daggerfall Covenant, and then the yellow for the Aldermary Dominion. And then not only that, but... Three arrows for the factions and obviously coming together at the bow. So this is literally all of us together. I, I just figured like it I wanted something symbolic, right? And this made 100% sense. Every color and the arrows signifying all the factions. So that's kind of my idea behind it. Not only that, but I think the tabard looks good though. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of the tabard. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty dope. So the thing about this though is that we've already been here. And we've already done every mission here. So, what I'm going to end up doing is just going back to Daggerfall. Via the uh, Way Shrine and I guess progress with the main story. If I ever get there, of course. You know, I have a 3080 and a 10900K. Uh... In my in my in my rig in my PC and this game doesn't run very well admittingly I, I think I need to mess with the settings so that I can get better frame rates because for for the system that I have I also have 32 gigs of RAM too it's like so for the for the rig that I have you would think that this game would run better it doesn't run very well to be honest so I, I think I need to mess with the settings a little bit and figure out a way to get the game running more optimally so Maybe in a future video, you might see a little bit less quality in the imagery, in the fidelity, but uh, we'll see. Started the Harbridge. There you are. Do not panic. Only you can see me. Come, we have to talk. Only you can prevent forest fires. There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. What's up, Mr. Prophet Man? Listen well. I have located a safe harbor. From which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. So where's this safe harbor? I awoke in a city of Bretons. Its air heavy with the smells of baked bread, horses, and intrigue. Daggerfall. Here. <laughs> the is in an abandoned <clears throat> cave outside the city. No worries then, man. I'll find you there. Mr. Harborage Man. Mr. Prophet guy, sir. Wait, hold on. Where am I? Do you know how long I've been looking for okay, I'm I'm lo I'm a little lost right now. The Harbridge. Do I not have it active? I do have it active. Oh, it's outside. Wait, hold on. What is this? Okay, so it is kind you of. Whoops. For you. Shut up. It's on the other side of the city. So okay, I see it now. There's so many map markers on my little, I guess, compass on the top that you can't... Well, at least I couldn't initially see the uh, the location in which I had to go to, but I can see it now. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, the way this character looks. It's not it's not perfect. I, I kind of want to mess with the dyes a little bit, uh, but overall, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty solid. Uh, okay, so let's go out this door. The stamina on this thing is horrendous. Not only that, but the speed. Oh, wait. This is where we died. Yeah, but the speed in this is pretty horrendous as well. It's pretty sad to see. Look at that. That's, that's, liter that's top speed right here. This is top speed. Oh my god, stop glitching on me. Yeah, I definitely gotta mess with these settings because it's it runs like crap, to be honest. 
It's not a big deal, though. Okay. These wings are pretty cool. I like the other ones a little bit better, though. But I don't have those. The ones where the... I guess the wings are... The, the feathers are black. That, that I think, looks better, to be honest. But I don't have those. I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. How can you tell who I am based off of my feet sounds? My footsteps. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. Okay. How did you find it? Seeing as you're blind. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. So you chose the place based off of the smell? Alright, so when uh, when you first appeared uh, to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of you spoke of my destiny. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson, you say? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Yeah, let's do it then. Enter my mind, Vestige. We're going into his brain. The shadows of past events. The animations in this game are pretty fantastic, not, not gonna lie. Whoa, I'm a ghost! Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Okay, first of all, don't tell me what to do. Second of all, okay. <laughs> part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. Hmm. The Moth Priests took pity upon me. And brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. Can you get his armor in this game? I'm not sure. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. Hey, there's an Elder Scroll right there. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality. Each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. That explains it, of course. You have to be very powerful to be able to read an Elder Scroll. Most people go blind. Like, if, if you remember in Skyrim, the Moth Priests are all blind because of that. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. Okay. So I had to like pop my knuckles. Uh, what does that have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the five companions. Rewind. Who are these five companions? The five companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the dragon god. To accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn? The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. I remember. So who- wait, go on. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself. And witness their fate. I really wanted to listen to the other option. Kind of ruined that one, though. Oh, well. Alright, bye. Oh, they're over here? Who are these five companions? Companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of the giants, <laughs> was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. We've met her. Next, Abner Thar, a powerful sorcerer, grand chancellor to the 
I think he looks cool. Oh yeah, he looks dope. Man of Marco. A king of worlds. A powerful necromancer. And your execution. Well, that's fun. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. So how could the amulet king uh, uh, the amulet of kings turn Varen into one of the dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Baron that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. So, why did Varen want to become dragonborn? By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. That, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. So tell me about the other companions. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? Well, since we've already met Lyris, let's learn a little bit more about her. You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north. And it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Baron chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. Well, that's interesting. Tell me about Sai. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Baron the Elder Council. While Lyris was Baron's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. Okay. Uh, what about Abner Thorn? I already know a little bit about him because he's kind of like deep in Elder Scrolls lore. He's an Imperial Battle Mage, basically. But yeah, let's see what they gotta say. The fans are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council. A powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his counsel, Varen was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. Wow. So I've heard enough about these three. Tell me about the man, the myth, the infamous legend, Manny Marco. Manny Marco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Baron to perform the ritual you are about to witness. What happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Man and Marco is... Oh, that's them! Wait, we're actually gonna witness this! The dragon fire brazier. Man and Marco, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. Oh. Lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. Wow. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. What race is Manny Marco? High Elf? Fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to an 
Venezia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Canriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! Oh, snap! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Paul, is free to claim Canriel for his own. Akatosh! Forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Is he gonna kill Varen? Oh, we didn't see what happened! I wanted to see if he killed him. Well, I know Lyris is still alive. The ritual tore the veil between Nam and Oblivion, allowing Menemarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Plain Man. So what went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nam. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. And what happened next? Manamarco tricked Beren into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Dust. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varon was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. So at least one of the companions have the, uh, the Amulet of Kings. It says here that Sai took the Amulet of Kings and fled. So it's pretty safe to assume that it's in good hands, right? Uh, and I say assume, assumptions in these ca kind of cases are probably not the best idea, but it's probably the best case scenario considering the circumstances uh, that Sai took the Amulet of Kings. Lyris was captured by Banda Marco. We already know that because we already found her in Cold Harbor. Uh, what about Abner Tharn and Banda Marco? Tharn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clivio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. So how did you end up in uh, Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. So I'm assuming they saw you as a threat, then. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Fact. Marco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Yes, sir, Mr. Prophet, sir, dude, man. Dude, I'm literally a ghost. So long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the door of him and seemed to draw him down into the depths of cold fire. His terrible angels and his appearing all throughout Tamriel. I could barely hear him talk because the anchor is so loud. Where are we going, Mr. Prophet Man? We're gonna go look at this spectacle that is the Dark Anchor? If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plane battle. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. Oh, okay. So it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready to go back whenever you are. As you say. Goodbye. I, I, 
Can you get all the companions' armors? Like, Lyris? I know I already have... Uh... Abner Tharns, because that's like the Chancellor stuff that you just get it through the main story, I think. And then I have, um... Who, who else do I have? Oh, then I have Mana Marco. But... It's kind of ugly, to be honest. It looks better on him than it does on any other character for some reason. And so it begins. <clears throat> the remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. Yay! You've given me a lot to think about. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. So what's our next move, then? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris? Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. So then what should I do in the meantime? Minamako's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. I mean, I'll do whatever I can. Forgive me. Bringing you into my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. I mean, I am a Templar, so I kind of have the power of light inside of me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Cool. Completed the Harbridge. I really like the story so far. I really do. This is the first time, obviously, me going through the story uh, in, in terms of getting the actual story and not just, like, forcing my way through it. It's actually not bad. It's actually really good. For an MMO especially, you know? Wow, this loading screen's taking forever. There we go. Yeah, see that, that lag is... It, it's really annoying. I really gotta mess with the settings. See, there it goes again. I really gotta mess with these settings because they're horrible. 